Hello AI community, this is Suresh and welcome to Edge Intelligence Meetup. Today we are going to discuss about generative, yes, discriminative models. What is generative, what is discriminative, what is difference between that because lot of confusion is there in discriminative and generative models. So I am uh, explaining that today. So what is the, uh, the first the discriminative model, what is the goal of the discriminative model, it's the directly estimate of y at the given x and in other another point the generative model it's it's estimate x at the given y then it deduce of y at given x in another way we can say like what's the discriminative model learn discriminative model learn the decision boundary in another way generative model learn the probability distribution of data I am explaining like why probability distribution of data here you are looking here the example it's draw the distribution of the, the data here in another like this, this is the one class and this is the second class same here in the discriminative model here we are drawing the decision boundary and we are classified this this uh, this side of the um, this side of the uh, feature here data is that belong to this class this side uh, belong to another class so that is the uh, that is the example of visualization of visualization of this discriminative model and generative models in another way and um, like uh, example i'm telling you that uh, regression and regression is the one example and sv is the another example and here for the generative like gda and the navy bias is the example I will explain another way like uh, the parameter here like py and pxy either either it is the we are the learning parameter is the P, uh, py at given x and here the estimate parameter of pxy py directly from the training data he here the estimate parameter only the pyx directly from the data you here the parameter is the difference here this parameter that is that parameter have to learn that is that parameter is have to and for estimation y of one x that use the it's calculate the bias is calculate the like is use the bias rule to the calculate the probability of y at the given x so this is the basic uh, the classifier uh, description like this is a generative classifier this is a and discriminative classifier another like uh, i'm discussing about the example here the for generative classifier Example like in, in, in term of the generative you think about why is term you generative like it's something it's in, in use the intuition and it generate the and predict the output like navy bias like Bayesian network like hidden Markov model Marco model in LSTM and another day RNN language model that kind of the generative and like adversarial you know generative model so such kind of the classifier and model that called generative and in, in other way like we we have to predict only like this is class this belong to yeah we have to predict only zero yeah one yeah, yeah it's maybe a zero it's maybe a one that's only and using the decision boundary which is yeah like that like red logistic regression like scale vector machine like support vector machine like traditional neural network nearest neighbor conditional random field these are are belong to the discriminative classifiers and uh, in mathematical way uh, i can say which is the generative model like generative model learn the joint probability distributions like joint probability distributions you, you know the joint probability like the variable should be the independent and both events uh, happen at the same time like you know you you uh, uh, like uh, uh, dice if you throw the dice two dice and what will happen there that 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 the uh, joint probability example i am saying and finally for predicting it use the bias theorem how bias theorem will work this is the bias theorem i am telling you ki a is a is equal to y and b is equal to x then um, then what is the, this is y and this is x then this is the bias theorem you know that the bias theorem in another way like um, this discriminative classifier like discriminatory classifier model the model the you know is model the decision boundary between the classes in another in mathematical term we can say it's learn it's learn the conditional probability of distribution like it's directly get the probability and 
in another way like uh, uh, what is x here what is y here like x is the feature y is the predicted label is the label we can say so this is i am explaining what is the for uh, is not make confusing what is x and what is y and it's learn y at given x right and for example you hear it about hypothesis of x so hypothesis of x in for example in the regression model you hear about that hx so it will be a zero it will be a one that is that's why it's called discriminative model so that is i explaining discriminative model what is the discriminative what is uh, like a zernative model this is the very nice example like two data is there like this one is the y y is to zero this y is equal to one and 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 you hear you hear about like you looking here this is the distribution of the one class and this distribution of another class any uh, uh, these these are distribution here and here we are separating the using the decision boundary it's not distrib distribution here we are separating decision boundary so this is the discriminatory model and this is generative model in another the graphical way we can the, i i can say you that the px upon y and these features this x feature belong to this y category and this x feature belongs to y is equal to one category right and p and, and so these two green and blue line belong to the uh, generative mo model and this belong to the the discriminative model so this is the basic basic example i explain you and uh, this is all about the discriminative generative thank you thank you so much